sniper with a pistol. UAV recon, standing by. A coffee shop, dude. A UAV in whole line. What a way to start a game. We get a double nade kill, then we get a double RPG kill, then a double martyrdom kill, which I did not know I had on. The chat let me hear it for that one. <laughs> then I fire and miss my RPG, swing around to the other side, and yeah, you guessed it, another double kill. <laughs> I haven't even fired my shotty yet. Oh, there, there we go. All right, I finally, I finally shot my weapon. <laughs> now that I'm like 10 kills into all this. And yeah, this is some COD 4. This was from my classic live stream. I believe it was probably two weeks ago in my live stream uh, playing with viewers. And even though COD 4 really isn't a classic, I think it's a classic. I mean, if you guys think about it, since COD 4, we've had World at War. We've had Modern Warfare 2. We've had Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2. We had Ghosts, and now we're having Advanced Warfare. That's seven titles since COD 4. COD 4 came out in 2007. That was seven years ago. So in my eyes, this is good enough to be covered in my classic series. If you guys didn't know, yeah, it's Thursday. And that means I do classic videos on Thursdays. <laughs> Some people are like, you do? It's like, yeah, man, I'm always uploading classic videos on Thursdays. And today is COD 4. And my chat challenged me to use this shotgun, the W1200. This was a fun shotgun to use. It sounded really fun, but holy crap, this thing had about three and a half feet of range. I was reminded of that very quickly. <laughs> very quickly. But normally in these, these classic videos, I talk about what I enjoyed about the game, the memories that I had when I played this game. And even though I wasn't a kid when I played this game, this was still seven years ago. I wasn't married. I was in college. I had never heard of like online multiplayers before. I, I didn't know that was a thing. When my friend told me to get this game, I was playing through the campaign, and he's like, dude, you should try the multiplayer. I was like, multiplayer? What are you talking about? So I get on the multiplayer, and I've been in love with COD multiplayer ever since. As crazy as COD has gotten, I still love to play it every once in a while. And I definitely love going back and playing COD 4. The simplicity. I mean, on the heels of Advanced Warfare coming out, you guys saw the trailers. You saw how crazy this game looks. I have no idea if it's going to be good or not. But I just remember how simple COD 4 was. And we all say, oh, you need content in order to you know, play the game longer. You, these Titanfall died because it didn't have enough content. These games need more things crammed in them. But look at COD 4. It was so simple, and we played it for days. I came at the end of the COD 4 cycle, and I still played the crap out of it. <laughs> and I went back after I didn't really enjoy World of War. And I went, I went back when I first hated Modern Warfare 2. Believe it or not, I hated Modern Warfare 2 at one time or another. I still hate it once in a while. <laughs> but COD 4 has that simplicity that we love. Gun-on-gun -gun action. There's not a whole lot going on. It's just you and the person you're shooting at. Or the person that's shooting at you. And generally, the better person is going to win. Of course they had Martyrdom. Of course they had Last Stand. Of course they had Frag Times 3. But remember when we didn't think that, that was that big of a deal? Now we've got target finders, things that let you see people through walls. We've got VSATs, which, I mean, I love, but it's still kind of a pain in the ass. We've got tracker sights and automatic smart grenades and all this stuff. I miss the simpler times, so let me know where you stand with COD 4. Was it one of your first games? Do you remember it as a classic? I'll see you next Thursday as we cover more classics. Leave some suggestions, and as always, thanks for watching. Later.